Welcome everyone. Earlier on the channel, previously I did this video where uh, I showed you guys how to fix the recovery image issue on Windows 11. I will do the link for that video here on the top right. Hopefully it's, that's where it will show up and we were doing this. But at the end of the video, I showed you guys that uh, when you do the delete, when you have mounted the image and do the delete of the folder, it doesn't want to delete. And I promise that I will actually do this this video, but I completely, totally, to be honest, forgot about it. So I'd like to thank uh, Shubham here for reminding me. Shukriya Shubhamji, Varna Madhu Bhuli Gaya to do this video. So here is the video for this session. I'll be talking about how to actually fix this problem where you're not able to delete the folder. So right click the folder that you're mounted direct directly that we created in the earlier video or whatever folder you have with the image mounted, right? So uh, properties, go to the properties and the first thing you need to do is change the trusted installer to your username that you're logged in with. So for example, in this case, I'm logged in as hashtag TNTCMD and uh, I looked for the user and I added the user. So that's the first thing you need to do and replace the owner on subcontainers and objects. Make sure that box is checked and then click OK. It will ask you for a bunch of things. Just click yes to that. Uh, once that process is done, the next step uh, would be to change the security settings. So I'll show you guys. So that is it for the step number one. So step one is complete. Click OK, close the window and do the right click again, properties and go to security tab again and at, at the bottom here click on advanced click on advanced and here is where you need to change your things so click on add first on the bottom left there will be add and select the principal again find now look up your user that you're actually working with it must be an administrator account just just an fyi and then check both uh, full control or check the full control option so all of them are highlighted, they're checked and click apply and click OK or just click OK. So again, you're adding your user and then at the bottom here, that's another step to this uh, is that check this box. It says replace all child object perm uh, permission entries. Make sure you check this as well and click apply and hit the yes button and that's it. These are the two, uh, well, more like three steps that you need to do. Just a heads up, uh, it might not delete right away for you as well. It didn't for me, so I'm going to show you guys what I had to do to make sure that the folder gets deleted. It goes through the process then again it says uh, it's failed because it's open somewhere so um, I don't know why it did that I don't know why it did, does that so I just closed that I was thinking of restarting initially but a quick sign out actually fixed the problem for me so so that's it guys that's all I wanted to show you guys and once you log back in you should be able to delete the folder there is one last step that is also there if you want to like you know watch till the end here uh, is to clean the image so or I mean unmount the image and clean that uh, bit as well so I'll show you guys here real quick I'll fast forward most of this and show you that the folder is now now you can be deleted like you can now delete the folder and once the folder is deleted there is one more command that you can run as, a, as an administrator in your command line to completely make it disappear so, So once the folder is gone, removed, do this one last thing, open command prompt as administrator and type in the command. Uh, it will be posted in the description below or you can pause and follow along. And that's it. Your image that you mounted is gone. It also works for anything else that you might be working with DSIM, the tool itself to mount images. 
So if you run into the same problem, you can apply the same steps of security changes uh, to the folder itself, and you should be able to unmount the image. And that's the last step that I was talking about. So just I'll post that in the description, the command. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate you guys sticking around uh, and supporting me. I am so close to my 4,000 uh, watch hours and also a thousand subscriber mark if you guys can hit the like button and hit the subscribe button it is much appreciated if you have any ideas suggestions for the next session or next video please do post i am thinking of doing a series on uh, ai and do a bunch of videos in terms of how i interact or how ai can actually generate me some videos and some ideas for this channel itself and see how that goes hopefully it'll be fun series so do check them out and they should be i'm working on them right now so hopefully in a week or two if i don't forget they should be there so thanks a lot guys again thanks for watching thanks for supporting take care stay safe